What's up everybody, Dr. Ray here, and we are gonna be talking about the blue screen of death on the Apple Watch. Um, yeah, it happened to me, unfortunately, and it stinks. So yesterday I was sitting at my computer. Um, I had just worked out and gotten a shower and like eaten breakfast and all that kind of stuff. And I'm sitting at my computer and my phone rings and I go to pick up my phone to answer it and I look at my watch because my watch is buzzing and I notice this bright blue screen on my Apple Watch and I don't think anything of it. Um, and like, you know, I go about working on the computer and stuff like that. Well, maybe like an hour later, I look at my watch and there's just this bright blue screen there and I'm like, what the heck is going on? There's a bright blue screen. So right away, I'm thinking in my head like something broken. I'm clicking buttons, nothing's working. Um, I restarted the watch, nothing working. Um, I put it on the charger, nothing working, and I'm thinking, oh great, first search, you know, Google search on my computer phone, and I come up with blue screen of death on the computer. I see a number of other individuals that have experienced the same thing. So let me talk about what this is, at least in my case, and what I've what my solution is to solve the problem and um yeah let's go from there so the first thing i will say is that this is different than blue screen of death on your computer um, you know we obviously think of like windows blue screen of death um, and this is not the same thing the reason this is different is what i found is that this problem is a problem with the actual screen of the device the Apple Watch itself is actually still working. My device is actually still working. Um, it's still collecting heart rate data. It still buzzes when someone calls. It's still interactive with my phone. I can still use Siri. So that my watch itself is actually still functioning like a normal watch. My screen is just has this blue screen of death, um, which is not fun. And actually my screen right now, it went from blue screen yesterday to completely just black screen today. But I'm still using it because I can basically, oh, there it is, there's the blue screen. It just stays like that. You can't even tell that it's blue and it mine's on and off right now. Can't even tell that it's blue. It's almost like this green blue color. Um, but yeah, it, it's completely, there's nothing I can do with the watch except use Siri and calculate like my heart rate and stuff. Um, but I still have it on right now for the video. So um, I did some searching and found other people that had similar problems with the same kind of thing. Now, in order for me to like power down the watch, I have to like hold in the buttons and I just know where the power button is, you know, like the slider, my slider still works. So I, I can still do everything, I just can't see it whatsoever, so I'm kind of guessing. Um, but I was able to power it down to restart it to see if that would solve the problem. Um, looked online, it seems a few other people that have had this problem, their watches would overheat when it was happening and stuff. Um, but basically what it comes down to is this is a hardware malfunction. This is not like something I can just fix really easily by tapping on the watch or restarting it or something like that. This is a hardware failure. Um, and there's really only one solution, and that is to replace the watch or replace the screen, um, because it's, it's a screen problem. So in my case, I called my first, you know, inclination of what to do. So this watch that I'm wearing right now is an Apple Watch 4. I've seen it happen with up to the Apple Watch 6 from Apple Watch 2 to 6, I found instances online. So it appears to be happening to a number of people. Um, so what I did is I, you know, this watch is three years old and I actually have my Apple Watch 7 on order right now. I get them every year, I get new ones. Um, but I usually just end up selling them. I've been very happy with my Apple Watch 4. So I have the Apple Watch 7 already on order. So I'm getting a new Apple Watch. But I do also have insurance with my uh, Apple Watch through Verizon. All my devices are insured. So I called Verizon and uh, to make a long story short, they said it's going to cost a hundred. They said I talked to uh, first. They sent me to Apple Support, the company that handles their Apple Support. They were as soon as I said blue screen of death, they said you can't. There's nothing you can do at home to fix this. So, you know, there's nothing you can do. So what they did say is that we can replace this for you. And 
they were like, we can give you a, a new Apple Watch 4 for $180. And I was like, that's, I'm not spending that. I can buy a new Apple Watch 4, the Apple Watch SE, which is actually better, for like $300. So I wasn't, obviously wasn't going to, and I have an Apple Watch 7 on order coming in as soon as it's in stock. So I was like, I'm not going to do that. The guy's like, well, hold on a second. He's like, I can get you. He's like, how about an Apple Watch 5 for 180 And I was like, still not worth it. Um, but then he's like, you know what? He's like, I can do better than that. He's like, hold on, let me, I'll be back in five minutes. He comes back a couple minutes later and he's like, I can get you an Apple Watch 7 for $180. So I was like, yeah, let's do that. So I'm getting, I now have an Apple Watch 7 coming from Verizon for $180, which my wife can use that or somebody can use it. I'll take an, an Apple Watch 7 for $180, um, and then I have one on order anyway that's coming, so I'll have two of them, which is awesome. So the solution to solve this problem is that you really can't do anything yourself. Um, the blue screen of death on your watch is a failure, a hardware failure of the device. It's different than blue screen of death on the computer. On the computer, it means like your device is, your, probably your hard drive is broken. You know, you can't use anything. On the watch, I can actually use stuff, but it's just there's no screen so it's really a screen problem it's a hardware problem you need to get it replaced so your options are to go get your screen replaced or to use the warranty or just get a new watch like i am um so those are my options and a pretty good story and then i'm getting an apple watch 7 for 180 dollars, which is kind of cool but yeah three years old this device works perfectly i use it all the time every day works great and i've had no issues with it except you know screen failure which is is a hardware failure is not the something that should happen in three years time it's not like i dropped the device and it stopped working or something like that i was actually sitting on the computer and i i don't i mean my device doesn't even have scratches on it like that's how good i take care of it after three years like there is no scratch after three years so you know i take very good care of the device but the fact that it uh it failed is kind of disappointing and it's something that you almost wish apple would take care of like these should have it's a watch like it and it's not like the new ones have these significant upgraded features. It really should have like a three to probably almost five year life cycle, considering what you pay for it. Um, I'd almost expect that, you know, failing in three years is a little disappointing, but yeah, it did. So anyway, that's my story. I am, you know, so long story short, blue screen of death equals having to replace or get a new watch or replace the screen. And I'm getting an Apple Watch 7, so... All right, that's it. That's my story. That's what happens. That's the blue screen of death on an Apple Watch. Later, everybody.